Well, everyone, iOS 17 is a very interesting update, and there are some settings I would honestly recommend removing or turning off on your iOS 17 device, depending on whether you like the settings or not. Now, the first one I would recommend looking into is actually with standby. Now, this is probably one of the coolest features within iOS 17, but it's not for everybody, and you may just want to see whether you like it or not. I think for a lot of people, you might end up loving it. That might be the turn on feature for iOS 17. But there's also a chance where you may not like iOS 17 at all because of standby. So you might just want to go and make sure that's not the problem. Go ahead and see if you want to disable standby or you want to keep it on, as well as some of these other configurations within standby. So it says standby presents a red dot with you know ambient lighting. You may want to turn that on or off and show notifications. If you have standby on, you may want to disable notifications because you might not want to be disturbed when you're sleeping, or you might not want your notifications being seen by everyone around you when you have standby mode on. So you might just want to go ahead and disable this specific toggle too, because if you're in a public setting, you're in a shared room or something, you probably don't want everyone seeing your notifications at night, especially if you can't see your phone. It's probably one of the bigger things you may want to just go and turn off. Now on top of that, a big massive thing I would recommend turning off in a way are widgets on your home screen. Since iOS 16, widgets are brought over, and if you hold down on your panel here and if you click customize, you can basically go through and add widgets on your home screen right here. But don't forget, every single widget that you actually add can suck up a little bit of battery life. So your best bet here, in my opinion, is to actually just go ahead and essentially just removing the widgets that you're no longer using. Again, this came over with iOS 16, so it's not like a brand new thing anymore. But it is still a very, very interesting thing that I'd recommend every single person to do is just go through, remove the widgets you're no longer using, and that can help kind of alleviate some of these things too and kind of save up a little bit of battery life while you're at it, which is honestly a really nice thing to have. Now, on top of that, if you're trying to go through and essentially there's some things within Siri that kind of throw me off sometimes. And now I think within iOS 17, they now made it where it's just like, I think you just say Siri or something. It's not even, hey Siri anymore. It's just say, Siri, can you do this? You may not even like that at all. Personally for me, I don't like it. So where where it says right here, where under you know iOS 17, uh, where it says what, listen for, I would just recommend keeping this off. Now, if you really need to, you can have hey Siri on. If you have Siri or hey Siri on enabled right here, that is going to be a very annoying thing because so many people, like I say Siri all the time, and if I say Sirius or something like that, hey Siri like is all automatically going to trigger it. So you might as well just keep this off too because you're randomly going to have random triggers that come on within iOS 17, within your iPhone, that are just going to start toggling your iPhone on over and over again way more than hey Siri. <laughs> so I'd recommend just turning Siri you know, off and I just probably wouldn't recommend keeping it on at all. That's probably gonna have some issues in and of itself. Now, Siri also has some, I guess, features of like hanging up calls and so many other things. So I would just recommend going through, and if you're going to like have these types of options enabled, I would just recommend going through and just turning off probably as many things within Siri, unless you know what you're doing. If you know what, you know, how to handle Siri and everything, then, you know, keep it on. But all of these things like the, you know, showing suggestions and showing a look app and or showing a look up and suggestions and app. I would just recommend turning all these things off. There's not really a big point of having all these things enabled if you already don't use Siri. I don't really ever use Siri, but if you do use it, then you could, you know, turn it on. But otherwise, I probably wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't recommend keeping it on for the most part. That's just kind of how I kind of seen it. Now, another thing that I would probably recommend turning off within settings is within your keyboard. I said this last year within iOS 16, and I still kind of feel the same way. And within our keyboard settings. We actually have the capability now of essentially getting the haptic feedback. Now, it's not within our specific settings here, but there are lots of settings within our keyboard that we do have that you can turn on or turn off. Within iOS 17, auto correction is a lot better. So if you before had this auto correction toggle turned off, you might as well turn it on. Kind of a flip here, but you might want to turn this on. If it's still bothering you, you can turn it off. That's been one thing that's kind of bothered a lot of people. Under stickers, you probably want to keep this on too. Now under sounds and haptics, one of the cool things with iOS 16 was that we did have the capability of getting this keyboard feedback. Now under keyboard feedback, we can now, you know, we can turn on sound, which is great, but we can also turn on or off haptic feedback. If you don't like the vibration motor within your specific keyboard, you can turn that off. You can also turn off sound as well. 
The reason why you may want these things off is honestly because it does save up a little bit of battery life. When you don't have to have that keyboard thing going on over and over and over again, like the vibration motor, well you can actually save yourself a little bit of battery life just by going down that direction. So that is something that's actually really cool. And if you're trying to save, again, the most amount of battery life, well, that's probably the best thing you want to do there. And that's another thing I recommend looking into as well. Now, on top of that, one of the most annoying things ever, and I still am so surprised that we even have this. I think it makes some sense every once in a while. But essentially, within iOS, I think 15 or 14, we had this thing called significant locations. So it just keeps a log of basically all our locations that we're at, like most of the time. And it's a very, very annoying thing. And it's kind of like, it's a little weird. Now, if you want to disable this, what you want to do is you want to go inside of your settings application and you want to go inside of your privacy settings. So go and find privacy and security, which is right here. And what you're going to want to do here is you want to find your location services. So location services is right up here. You want to go and click here. And then right at the very bottom, it's going to have something that says system services. What you're going to want to do is click system services and there it's going to have a lot of things that come up. But at the very bottom where it says, you know, product management, there's a lot of things that come up here. But there's a thing that says significant locations right here. You might just want to go ahead and disable this. I have, I'm have i not a really big fan of this. There's also a lot of other things here that can basically, you know, essentially require your location for your you know system services. If you know what you're doing, you might as well turn some of these off. If you don't know what you're doing, then forget about it. But there are some things that you can turn on or turn off, like even like, product improvement, you can just turn these off. You probably will never need to use them anymore. And I'd probably recommend doing that too. That's another big thing that you may want to look into. On top of that, in this specific panel here, if we're talking about, you know, the specific, you know, like settings you should turn off on any iOS version, under tracking, this specific thing is a big, big issue. So if you want to allow apps to you know, allow tracking, you want to just go ahead and enable this but you also want to go ahead and disable the applications you don't want to basically track you. So what these things do is they, these applications, you know, developers basically use this to track advertisements and to improve, you know, accuracy of like ads that are being placed. So if you don't really care about that stuff, you can just go in and enable it. But if you want a little bit more of a secure, less, you know, tracking phone, you may just want to go ahead and turn off all these options because that's basically going to go ahead and improve your iPhone. It's not going to make it faster or anything, but it just has to, you know, it's going to improve the, I guess, security of your iPhone overall because there's just less tracking going on with your device. And that's exactly how I felt back then with iOS 16, and I still feel the exact same way with iOS 17. Now, finally, if I want to, if I could recommend one more thing, basically disabling focus modes. So under focus right here, we have our little iPhone panel that comes up, if there's any settings that I'd recommend kind of modifying or anything, I would probably just recommend going through and just deleting or turning off certain focus modes that you're no longer using. I typically keep a do not disturb toggle on just all with just all the time on my iPhone just because I don't really want people to mess with me, at least on these ones. <laughs> on my personal phone, I don't have it like that. But if you want to go and turn off those specific things, just go ahead and just click on the do not disturb mode here and you can toggle it on or off. You can also hold it down to toggle on or off certain focus modes right there. So that pretty much covers it up. Those are pretty much the main iOS 17 settings I'd recommend disabling. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.